Good day and welcome to Hogwarts, where we're actually in Hogwarts in the Great Hall. Just look at all that pretty fake snow and fake icicles and floating candles and fake cloudy sky and the Christmas trees. Yes, it's Christmas here in Hogwarts. 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 God damn it, Hogsmeade. Hogwarts. It's a hog with warts, not hogs with a wart. I'm still gonna mess that up. We are actually not exploring anymore. I'm gonna do some more quests. Trying to find Natty. I think she's over there. Right there. And then, if no other of those weird uh, side uh, companionship quests open up, like with Sebastian or... Poppy? Poppy? Yes, Poppy. Close enough to Poppy in Cinnamon Chronicles 2, so that's why I kind of remember that name. And Sebastian, because I'm very invested in his story. And if none of those and uh, come up... Oh, what's wrong going on with the shadows over there? I will continue with the main quest as well. I've done a fair bit of exploring. I can... Oh, I forgot about all about you. Come here. Let's do this. I can find Natty later. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Stop doing laps around me. Okay. Okay, it wasn't that far away. Uh, how did I slap you? Number four? Can you, can you, can you go a little bit more to the left? Excellent. You know, I meant right, but I said left. It's fine. Now we can go to Natty. See what she wants. Yeah, I've done a fair bit of exploring, so I, I feel... I feel a bit more... Um, less overwhelmed with the game. So I can actually move on now. Ah, I have been meaning to speak with you. I am here. What do you want? I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. Okay, so I'm the talk of the school since I saved you. Not from the dragon attack and not from the troll attack. I, oh, okay, f fair enough. Those were in-game basically months ago. During sp spring slash summer? Because we've been through autumn since then because we had the whole Halloween thing. Or Samhain thing. Whichever you prefer. Most probably prefer Halloween. And now we're in Christmas. Yeah, so... Hmm. Well, her concern is warranted. Because... Didn't you kind of... Yeah, you, you kind of got caught. So yeah, her, concern, her your mother's concern for you is warranted. I don't blame her for being concerned. We have been involved in mm -hmm. some dangerous activities. We do. As the Ashwinders were we locking me up and threatening my life, it did occur to me that my mother may have been right. You don't say. <laughs> has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? Probably not. She has not. Hallow is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Who Officer Who thought Singer. that would happen? If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Ask Your father was also yeah. an Animagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe. Okay. And he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. 
He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them. 100% understandable. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would no, still be No, that was not your today. fault. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Yeah, definitely not your fault. Do not carry that burden. You did what you could. Also, I, I <laughs> when she said that whole thing about them galloping around the savannah and then together, and then she said he was a giraffe. The first thing I thought about was a giraffe galloping across the savannah with a gazelle on his back. Until she mentioned the whole arms around his neck thing, but that was still kind of a funny mental image. A gazelle riding on the back of a giraffe while the, the giraffe is running. <laughs> still kind of funny. Sad story, but sorry. Sorry, Natty, but that that still kind of funny. Are you looking to avenge his death? That probably, probably, maybe, but you can probably do. Can't probably, probably can't, can't probably do, do that here. Do you think taking down the Ashwinders will avenge your father's death? No. No. Vengeance is not what drives me. My father would not want For that. justice. He and my mother raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. <laughs> I am glad you to seem to think To protect those so. weaker. That's the second ideal, or was it the first? Don't remember. How's your mother doing? What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. No one could she have seen that one coming. As do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way. Because in justice we trust. She likes it. Yeah. Well, what would your father think of what we've been doing? He would. I. I don't know, him, I'm not even gonna guess. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my, that is a good question. In theory, yes. Although he would worry, as my mother does. Parents but always I think do. He, of all people, would understand my persistence. My father never shied away from a fight for good, no matter how ruthless the foe. And I think he would have enjoyed knowing that I had a compatriot like you. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was. Truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Oh? Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Because Officer Singer shares her Thank won't. you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Did she say that before? I don't actually remember. That's a very nice saying, though. And it seems that there will be no more. Oh, no. No, I'm not really in the mood to pull up that picture again. I'm going to my, uh, to, not to my room of requirement, because I've already been there. Stocked up on potions and stuff, and all the offspring, uh, beast offsprings, are still called offspring. So I guess they will never grow up. That kind of bothers me a little bit too, because I have feeders in every part of, uh, every part of the vivarium. I have three vivarium parts. And it kind of bothers me that even though I have feeders in there, uh, the animals don't actually eat unless I go in. So they're never actually fed. That's, that's kind of a bummer.
So, speak to the headmistress. Which would be the new portrait. Yeah, and then we have one more portrait. So, first trial, second trial, third trial. Who will be the fourth? So, are we Welcome going... Back. Thank you! We're going towards the third trial now, then? Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their... Huge search. drills. <gasps> Most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Okay. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help. <laughs> Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll yeah. need to access the office while he's away. Uh, I've gotten that impression too. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. So, school shenanigans sneak into the headmaster's office when he is not there. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Ooh. Good idea. We haven't seen Fig for a while. I miss the old guy. Actually, uh, my quest hasn't updated yet? No, it has not. Okay. Right, and the uh, same. Hmm. No, it has. Thank you. Fig's office. Right, there are a lot of side quests even in Hogwarts. I should do those at some point. I should also actually run around Hogwarts. Just so I can familiarize myself with the layout. I probably won't. I should. But I probably won't. Because fast travel um, allows me to be lazy. And if I'm anything, it's lazy. Hello, Professor Fig. I'm gonna sleep on your carpet again. You do a lot of sleeping on floors and carpets, do you? Don't you, I mean. Even outside. And in snow. In rain. And... Yeah, you should probably... Stuff a few blankets in that beast rescue bag of yours. I mean, if you can hold beasts, it can probably hold blankets and food and other things. Hello, Professor Ferg. Do I actually have anything to say outside of me doing the quests? No. Okay. No casual conversation? Just business? Straight to business. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next You'll trial? You'll guess. Believe it or not, it's <laughs> in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. For some he reason. Is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. 
You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Yes, I would love to know your um, plan for fooling the his house elf into giving me the password while I'm disguised as Professor Black. How do you feel? Ugh. Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hope <clears throat> that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, and he won't because uh, I see. Quidditch is coming out what as a Professor separate Black game. Sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's yeah, himself. You could see her trying to adjust her posture a little bit instead of carrying herself as uh, herself <laughs> even now slouching a little bit <laughs> oh this has the potential to be full of shenanigans well, I gotta say I do like his dress sense this is nice looking very insecure stances, though. Very non-confident. Kagawa. I'm actually gonna... Am I? Gonna run everywhere? I think so. Professor, a moment of your time, please. Professor, <laughs> I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um... Places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. <laughs> of course, sir. Only... <clears throat> You'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. <laughs> Probably best not to discuss it oh. here, sir. Oh, really? I will decide what's best. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Hello, Sebastian. Oh, well... I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> <coughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student oh. deliver it. A student. <laughs> Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task... Yeah. Potential for uh, shenanigans. I'm probably not even allowed to flu flame, am I? No, I have to run. This is this is glorious. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the ministry. Okay. If you must oh. speak with me, consult oh. my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. What could the headmaster want? Hello, Gareth. Gareth. Uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. <laughs> uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. <laughs> Prime potion ingredient. 
And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. And of course, I can still pet the kitties. I bet Mr. Black have never done that. Well, that cat is probably mighty confused right now. I mean, can I? If I go... Oh, there's one for my diary. Yeah, if I go off the path I'm supposed to go, can I get into even more shenanigans, you think? More trouble? Probably not, huh? Or? What about those freaking stone gargoyles who always wish for people to be cursed and whatnot? If I walk past them... I can't even have casual conversations with people. Hmm. I don't even remember who those freaking gargoyles are. It, it, there you are. Yes, um, hello. Let us not on your nose. Thought you'd want to know. Can I? Oh, my man. Not a one of them deserves more than a T. A T? What kind of grading system do you have? A to Z or what? Hello, I'm the headmaster. I'm allowed to do this. Oh, you have a pretty, pretty ribbon on your head. You don't. You have a pretty ribbon on your... I was about to say chin, but no. Ooh, a demigeist. Okay. Anything else in here? A lot of chairs? Why? Why? I don't have access to my spells. I heard that. Botanical silver leaf. Ooh, what's this? Attention! I have been advised that various members of staff would like to organize a social gathering. I have no objection to this and shall leave it to those so inclined to fraternize, ensuring that such activities fall outside of school hours, of course, and that nothing so jovial as to disrupt my concentration should occur. Likely I shall be busy on the date, but will review the invitation when received. I recognize that my absence will mar the engagement. You're so full of yourself. Also, one half of an hour should be sufficient, and please be mindful that any sort of musical presence would be strictly prohibited. Joykill Headmaster. P.S. No confectionery shall be served, lest they attract a stray rat or nasal. Also, please try to limit the number involved in this frivolity to four. Oh, you are such a freaking stick in the mud. This is where they put me. Yes. You, um... Black, you deserve every bit of bad things I can do to harm your reputation. Well, you did even before, but now, especially. My brother promised me his old broom before she shows up. You're such a loyal... Loyless? Joyless person. I bet you would even cancel Christmas if you could. Headmaster? Yeah. What could he want? <laughs> Hello, ominous. Mr. Gordon. Been a while? Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! 
mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. What? Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure uh. you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Well, at least you're trying. Something is very wrong with Professor Black. It's Italy and Puba Tuba Pus. Moustache paste. Indeed. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor, a word? Right, I forgot about this stem puzzle. Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Please do. It won't change anything. <laughs> Please do. Because, you know, like we said, uh, the game is getting released as a separate game. So, never gonna see Quidditch in this, unfortunately. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. The Great Hall, which is also where... What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Yeah, I wonder. Which is also where Weasley said he was. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! <laughs> Oh, you're trying so hard, but your actual personality slips out at times. Do, do, do. I wish. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. What? Professor Black here? I can actually uh, avoid talking to people, but why should I? Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> mm, speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Still in the Great Hall. Presumably. Oh. Is that a... seems a little off with the headmaster. Just a tiny bit. Is that a levitation hat? Can I try it? Uh, probably not as uh, the headmaster, huh? The entrance hall. We are heading for the Great Hall. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Ivory-handled hand mirror. Professor, I need to speak to you. Okay. Hello, Professor Black. Hello. Oh, Professor Weasley, how, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, <laughs> since I have you here, I wonder if I might <sighs> um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess that I do That suit just fell apart. Things. He's rarely here as it is. <laughs> and I don't miss him. <laughs> ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, 
I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I, well, I, um, thank you. No, 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 don't look into things. Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Any comments? A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. Yeah, and this suit just fell apart. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. <coughs> Sorry. And you're not gonna put yourself back together. I would if I had access to Reparo, which I don't. And we're still slow walking, because I cannot run. Oh, great hall! Now, where's the scrope? Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. What's this? Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. And I'm betting that would change depending on which house you chose in the beginning. Oh, Scrope. Why are you loyal to the Black family? They are, have been... They have not been good to you. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. See? Even Master himself. I mean, I could go the Professor Black way, and just be a total douchebag to him. Let's go this softer way. Because there's no way he would see through that, right? And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Yeah. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. No. Probably with the purity of blood, I guess. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, Ooh. in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> Toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. Uh, <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. No. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. <laughs> the polyjuice potion is wearing the... off. Belch. Let's get out of sight. <clears throat> ah, that's why the belching. Oh, and we gave the diary. Why am I slow walking here? Why game are you forcing me to slow walk here? Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. I slow walk back. And yeah, very, very burp on you too. Very nice gesture to give Scrope the Apollonius, the Apollonius diary. To give Scrope the diary. Because he cared very much for her. From what I remember, for some reason. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Vic was right. I can't believe it worked. 
Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Yes. And the headmaster's office is... Not yet on my map. Was I supposed to fire these up? Yes. Give me. It is that away. Wait, was that a chest? Is there? It is a chest. It, ooh, it is. It is a chest I can open. Good. Yep, that little hole, that whole little excursion as um, Black... I was about to say Blackwell. Blackwell, where the hell... Where's Blackwell from? Anyway, that whole excursion as Blackwell... Not Blackwell, Black. Thank you. That's kind of funny. Do... Wish we could have done more to damage his reputation. Nothing... Perhaps in, in a more subtle ways. So it doesn't immediately show that it was someone else uh, posing as him. It would have been fun. He deserves it. There are two stairs, stairways like this, isn't there? Oh, and I feel a sneeze coming on. Am I going to be able to hold it in? Maybe. Oh, yes, I am. I have been here before, so no real need to look for treasures. I've been here. I've been... Now that is a big suit of armor. The hell? Pavelio. Please tell me more about this. Troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That it has survived at all is astonishing since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Why was it made for a troll? Who made it for a troll and who thought they could make a troll wear it? That was a big super armor. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is kind of like the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Can't go straight, have to go around things. Oh, Stanley Parable. Oh. Okay, I don't think I've been here though. There are so many places in Hogwarts. I haven't been. We definitely have not been here. I wouldn't remember this. It's kind of nice. Wood paneling and the floor tiles and then going... Oh, oh. So nice. Level 3 lock. <clears throat> Can't do anything about that. Level two, though. A little more. What's hiding in here? Demigases. Nope. Chests with gloves. Self-serving tea. And someone's bedroom. Whose bedroom? Professor Hecat. As discussed, I have corresponded with my goblin acquaintances at Gringotts. 
All have condemned Ranrock's actions, as, and some have privately considered that his motives may not be what they seem. From what I've heard of this, his treatment towards others of his own kind, those who refuse to join his ranks, I am inclined to agree with our friends at the bank. I will let you know more what more I hear. Suffice it to say that for now we must remain vigilant. From Sharp. Okay. You are looking into this whole thing. This was Professor Hecketts. Room. Now thoroughly looted. So is this the spiral case of Professor Bedrooms? Ooh. Hey, another one of these. I That's where I need to speak the password. Yes, I haven't seen one of these for quite a while. Lumos. Let's kind of back down a bit. Is it all the way down? Where I first started going up? Or... No. Because it was kind of in the form of a pentagram-ish. So I haven't passed it yet, I think. Maybe down this way? Oh. Yep, yeah, I need a key for that. Uh, keep you in mind and forget you. Whisper the password. Toujours pure. That's not really a whisper, but sure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Probably. You're you're just kind of a gnome. Rebellion. But more human shaped. Yep. Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. Oh, there's something in there. Oh. How can they be in multiple portraits at once? If they are living portraits. More locked doors. Each an obstacle to me. Gimme. Okay. An outside stairway up into a le level three lock. Okay. What? <coughs> Jesus! <clears throat> what are you hiding in there? Revelio. The Sorting Hat! Oh! This enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts and as the means by which students would be placed into one of the four schoolhouses. Skilled at... Legilimency? Legilimency? The Sorting Hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. But it will still ask you if you really, really, really want to be part of this house. At least for special people. Uh, level 3 does so much. It's good Hi. to see you. All thanks to Professor Fick's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber. 
and read the book that appears. What will I find in the book? You, you'll see what you find in the book when you read the book. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Yes, it has. Why even ask that? Of course it has. Now where's this book? That must be the pedestal. We're doing a Kingdom Hearts and jumping into the book? Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. Oh, I... You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. Okay. I really like this graphic style. I wouldn't mind playing a game that looked like this. Basically, charcoal sketches. Yeah, this is nice. So the third trial, presumably. We're gonna go through that next time. I'm really looking forward to doing this because this looks awesome. There's scraps of paper floating around and just... Oh, yes. Are there games with this kind of graphics somewhere? There, there probably are. I think I need to look, see if I can find any. Because this, this is gorgeous. Anyway, thank you for being here. You take care of yourself now, and I hope you have a nice day. Why did I do the Vulcan salute? <laughs>